This place isn't right. in the distance. What language is that?
I know they're out to get me. Behold! Bask in the cosmic radiance of the Thural Stone! With its power, I will change the world, put an end to the Cold War, and bring enlightenment, order, and prosperity! If all that death, destruction, and madness is your idea of prosperity, I'd rather put an axe in your head. I have seen warlocks with more foresight and mental fortitude fail. Carter thought you would be a true danger, but you are more of a puppet than he ever was. Mind your place, Abomination. You are nothing but a byproduct of the grand design I am weaving. You are prey that deluded itself into thinking it's a hunter. All the more embarrassing for you when that byproduct takes you down, you bastard. Pray, maybe, but I can fight back. You are nothing but a prepared meal, ready to be devoured. And you even revel in it. I must admit, you, Aberration, are truly an agent of chaos. I did not expect that your little game would interfere with my ascension. So be it then. You could have submitted, become a part of something greater. But you chose oblivion. I agree. Mugokai Ayath. Yes. Thurl's power courses through me. It is beautiful. The radiance of a thousand stars! Unlimited! What? No! Impossible! You cannot do that! I, I command you! I am your master! Damn. Psyched myself up for nothing. Good riddance, Edward. Don't let your guard down, fool. Can't you feel it? This is not over.
its eyes watching me. There's so many.
crosses a line once again. The hunter meets the hunted, laid to claw, ensnared and tracked down. No, my old enemy. This is always the part I enjoy the most. I have the strangest feeling, like I know you, and I should hate you. <laughs> Poor vessel. Of course you don't understand. These feelings are not yours, and you will soon fade. I am surprised it has any voice of its own left. Are you really that weak? So eagerly committed to our grand game that you still let it speak. Who do you really talk to then, monster? Where is your flock, Shepard? They are an integral part of our dance, are they not? Is your only weapon against me petty defiance of decorum? I will rend and tear their flesh either way, and you know it. You cannot defy me. My companions? I'd never let you hurt them. Companions? Is that what the vessel calls them? Grotesque. They are pawns. Sacrifices. And yet you are still hiding behind this dull puppet. Its ceaseless prattling begins to annoy me. Consume it finally and face your fate. I... Silence! Show yourself. Speak to your better when he demands it. Do you find this amusing? Very much so. I savor every moment of your impotent rage and petulant whining, while you fail to grasp the obvious. My perfect blending with this vessel revealed to me that these creatures are not irrelevant, not disposable. They are fine tools to be maintained and cherished. This knowledge and the power that comes with it will be your end. Desperation makes you pathetic. It suits you. Then show me your power. Come and be annihilated. Humiliated once more. Before we fall to the sleepless dream again. One in gleeful triumph. And whatever it is you, the loser will experience. <laughs>